Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, whatever time this is for you. My name is Boris, and I'm standing here with Marco. Oh, Marco. Marco. And Marco is going to teach uh, myself and you how to make a mushroom risotto. Well, for this recipe, I went and got a bunch of different alliums. You could just use a plain white onion. This is a Spanish onion, some scallions, some garlic chives, and some regular chives. That will go in a bunch of olive oil. Um, and, then, and then the rice and some white wine uh, and mushrooms. And that's pretty much it. All right, like always, start with fat, right? Cooking all over the world begins with fat. So this is a good extra virgin olive oil. Half our onions, chives, scallions, white onion. You want to hear a little bit of that sizzle. So you want to cook these until they're translucent. I'm going to put a couple of these botanicals yeah. into the broth. I thought that these flavors, you know, the hyssop and the elderberry, these are going to add wonderful layers of yeah. flavor and into the, that broth. The aqua, the cordyceps. So what do you think, two? Yeah, two. Throw that right in there. Short grain rice. So we're going to dump that in. And then stir, coat. Very important to coat those kernels in all that fat. And you actually want to toast them a little bit. Once this gets super hot and you start hearing it, we're going to deglaze it with white wine. Okay, we're going to do, we're going to do this. Ready? Okay. Yep. It's going to be super loud. That's the good stuff. About a glass of wine. Here, tell me, tell me if um, you're getting some of those botanical flavors in that broth. Two was about. Oh, yeah. So, Warris, this is about additions of broth into the rice until it's cooked, right? So, you don't have to, you know, a lot of people think when making risotto, you have to do a tiny bit and you have to stir and then a tiny bit and stir, and it's not really the case. Like the first addition, as you can see here, I pretty much covered the rice. Yeah. And we're going to just let that, I'll turn it up a little bit. But we're going to let that cook out and then oh, wow. in two or three minutes or four minutes, we're going to add another addition. Let's saute some mushrooms. Great. Again, some oil, saute pan, and you can just drop those right in there. We also have a few oyster mushrooms. We have uh, some chicken of the wood mushrooms that I'm just going to break up and put in here. Look, this is that first addition. See? You didn't put any more. This no, the first. but oh, now oh, it's oh, gone. Yeah. The see, it's gone. Out. Okay. And you can also see that that, that wonderful creaminess stuff mm -hmm. is starting to happen. Yep. See that? Yep. That's a really good sign. I'm going to do this again. The second edition is in. And again, see that creaminess? Yep. Also, the kernels are starting to bloat a little bit. You can see that they're taking in that wonderful flavor. One last chopping duty for you. Yep. The smaller, the better. I know. So I really want it to be kind of the size of the yeah. rice kernels. Dump the whole thing in there. Yep, dump the whole thing in there. And we'll put these wild mushrooms in there. Just for some green and some nice. extra nutrition. Okay. Some uh, wonderful Incredible. spinach from the green market. That's a power, and this, power yeah, risotto. Exactly. Yeah. Can we take some of these out yeah. and pound them in the mortar and vessel? Yeah. A little sprinkle on top yeah. of that. So we got elderberry, sap, yarrow, lemon, uh, honeysuckle, lemon balm, ginger, lemon peel, alma, and cordyceps. Sprinkle a little bit of your botanicals on top. Nice. Wow. Thank you for joining us. And thank you, Marco, for teaching my pleasure. Uh, for teaching me and teaching us to. It's always fun. Uh, more. Let's do this more. Yes. And um, cheers. Uh, let us know how you like it. <laughs>